here's the new Stewart number one crankshaft. This is the new design and uh, can actually be disassembled, but I uh, loctited it up pretty good. Within a thou, and uh, even less, I would think, uh, we did it on the CNC machine, and I added a radius to the ends. Get the cat out of the way. Radius to the end, so there's a bit of a profile there. And recess the Allen screws, which were done with it uh, in position and viced uh, on the milling machine. So I also have the keyway with five thou a little bit less on the keyway so that my key will fit because it was too deep on the original drill bit crank which was not holding up to the power once the uh, engine was fixed and it was starting to wiggle the silver solder broke I guess on this and uh, then the pins came out so I had to add an extra pin and it didn't work uh, I have a crank in there right now that's in, uh, press fit and uh, pinned but this is the new design and I wanted to try this out so I'm gonna get this into the number one in the next few days and then I will uh, show you that and we'll look for any run out on the machine then we'll know that it's the uh, bearing blocks that have to be repaired and it's not the crank because now I know that this crank is true and perfect uh, I can basically uh, work the rest of the engine to see if we have any issues and probably have to work on that shimming of the bush because I still have a little bit of a uh, play in there and I can tune it out with the stroke but I don't want to have to compromise the power of the engine to uh, tune out the uh, slack so anyways if anybody needs a number one crankshaft I have this set up on the machines now and all the numbers so Give me an email or a private message or just leave a comment below and I can let you know through an uh, email or something what the cost is and all of that. And I can do them in about three days. So There you go. You could also do uh, number nine crankshafts this way. Have a good day, guys.